everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Kristen and I've got a grocery haul for you guys today it is Aldi and Walmart uh, we spent like a hundred and forty something at Walmart and eighty one dollars at Aldi uh, not everything is food but pretty much everything is um, so let's go ahead and get started on everything that we picked up Oh my gosh, you guys. Can you see that I completely forgot about my shorts? They got topped. They got tossed on top of the computer. Uh, I did a quick outfit change before running out to family barbecue yesterday and completely forgot that I tossed my shorts on top of the computer. So please ignore those. I'm sure y'all have done similar things at some point, tossing clothes where they don't belong. It happens. Okay, so here's just a little overview of everything that we purchased. We got some stuff up there on the island and then all of this other stuff right through here and yeah so um rachel ray dog food that is what our dog eats we got a case of baby wipes we've got two um little kids so we go through baby wipes like crazy we've got a case of coke um milk we always get our milk from walmart I'm hungry. We're going to make lunch in just a minute, okay? I mean, okay, why don't you go play with your Hot Wheels, and then we'll have lunch. So, we get our milk from Walmart. Uh, I, the Aldi milk for us always seems to go bad, so um, I never get my milk from Aldi. And then we have our bread from Walmart. It's about the same price as the Aldi bread, but we actually like it better. So, yeah, two loaves of the honey wheat bread. Um, these are just kind of nice to have on hand. They're Hawaiian punch, so they're kind of like um, Kool-Aid water flavoring things. Uh, Levi likes them. We all kind of like them. A uh, thing of bananas. Hopefully we get those all eight because all of our bananas have been going bad and we've been making a lot of banana bread. So hopefully, I bought a smaller batch. They're big, but it's a smaller batch than what we normally get. Uh, I think four things of frozen broccoli. Uh, I've taken to liking these for lunch. Like half a bag fills me up. And so I like to mix it with some cheese. And so I broccoli and cheese for lunch. I've been doing that quite a bit lately. Um, 18 eggs. We've been eating a lot of eggs lately, so we should go through those pretty quickly. I had to actually get another carton of 18 eggs um, last week, and we've, we're down to three of them. So we've been, we've been going through eggs. <laughs> of course, our giant stack of Lunchables, because Levi loves those. We've got nacho, we've got pizza, and we've got cracker in here somewhere. Yeah. So here's the turkey ones. We got these for Ira, which is our baby, for him to try out, see if he likes those. And then at Walmart, I also got a giant tub of butter. Um, I have not seen a family-sized tub of butter in months. So, yeah, definitely picked that up. And it was the last one they had in stock. They're really big. But I love to cook with butter. We go through butter like crazy. So I was very happy to see that. Okay, this is the last of our Walmart stuff. Um, I've got one pack of pull-ups for my toddler. That should last as he has like half a pack left already. So we go through like a pack of these a week, roughly. Um, so with what we have, we should get through till next payday. And then I got three packs of diapers for the baby. He already has a little over half a pack left as well. And we go through about a pack and a half a week or so. Maybe more just kind of depends on him, you know. Um, and we're trying to see... I know long term it would be more affordable to buy the large case, but short term it was more affordable just to buy three of these bags because they were um, right around $4 a piece. So, I don't know, we're trying that out to see, you know, if that works financially to be more like this or whatever. We're just trying it out. So, I also picked up a bunch of clothes for Levi for fall, which is my toddler. Um, fall clothes are already starting to come out for walmart um and if you guys know anything about the Grammals brand which is pretty affordable these are 450 a piece um they sell out about as quickly as they get them in so for summer we had a really hard time finding shorts for levi if you guys watch my vlogs then you um know the struggle that we had finding him shorts to wear and he's in a four tee but he's wearing a lot of hand-me-down five tees from his older cousin and we were constantly chasing him around telling him to pull up his pants. <laughs> so when I seen them bring out the fall sweatpants and they're all the same style, just different colors. Um, when I seen they had these out, I decided, you know what, we're gonna spend probably $20, $30 in clothes, but we need to go ahead and get all of them that we want. 
before they sell out because they will definitely sell out. Um, so if you guys have a little one, now is the time to go get their fall clothes before they're gone. Um, because I don't want to be chasing my kid around the rest of the year pulling up his pants. <laughs> so yeah, these ones are kind of like a khaki material. They're not jean, but they're not sweatpants. They're like a khaki material, but we got one in khaki, one in black, and one in gray. And they had they had more than what we they had more than what we bought, but this is just what we picked up that I thought would be best for him. And then this one's a little bit different in style. This one's a little more plain all the way down. Well, I guess it's got a little stitching here on the knee. But these ones have the tan and the black have like, I don't know what that is, but they both, they all three scrunch at the ankle, which is nice. And they all have pockets, which he doesn't really understand pockets, but you know, maybe he'll figure them out. <laughs> and then I showed you guys the shirts already. Okay. This is quite the hosh posh. I've not organized. <laughs> so we have some jumbo flaky biscuits, pasta, which you guys have toddlers or little kids who like to feed themselves. These are a great substitute for anything spaghetti related because it's easier for them to pick up with their hands versus the tiny little spaghetti noodles. So mom tip, um, puffs. These are actually more expensive than the Gerber puffs at Walmart, but I wasn't going back to Walmart. So blueberry puffs, uh, mayonnaise, sugar. Y'all got a preference between mayonnaise and Hellman's, like Miracle Whip and Hellman's. This is the Walmart, the, sorry, this is the Aldi brand of mayo, but like I don't know what the big deal is. I don't understand the big difference between Miracle Whip and Hellman's, but I know it's a thing. Like my parents, they have to buy Miracle Whip and Hellman's because my mom wants the Hellman's, my dad wants the Miracle Whip. I grew up eating both. Like I don't, I don't have a preference. They're both good. Um, spaghetti sauce, some Alfredo sauce, and three things of yogurt. The last time we had yogurt, Levi would not eat it, but he was begging for it today. So I only got him three and we will see if he eats it. Um, some Colby Jack shredded cheese, another Colby shred, mozzarella shred, we've got Colby Jack slices, Munster slices, um, smoked sausages, thing of fish sticks. Can't remember if I showed this or not, but uh, lunch meat, black forest turkey. I don't think we've ever tried black forest turkey, so sounded kind of good to try. Um, another thing of mozzarella shreds, some, I almost said craft singles, but it's the Aldi brand, um, tastes the same. Chicken nugget and some tortillas. Okay, we've got one more bag after this. So, um, some dish soap. I have lately just become a dish soap snob, though I'm not against using the great value brand of Dawn. Aldi does not have their own type of Dawn, so. Um, we picked this up because I forgot to get some at Walmart. Uh, white cheddar popcorn. Levi has been loving that lately. French bread pizza. We're going to try doing this up on the barbecue grill today for lunch. So that's going to be heading outside real quick. Some cookies, cereal for the boys. One bag of apples. These apples are tiny, but here lately they've been super sweet and crunchy and firm. So we've been loving them. Um, some more mushroom sauce. Parmesan cheese. Another puff that one's strawberry apple and um, we've never tried the clancy stackers so they're obviously like pringles we got sour cream and onion original and cheddar we'll see if we like them they should be like the same thing um some queso cheese to go on my broccoli ranch and some mushrooms and i found one of our plates it is a little dirty and it was in our aldi bags i'm not really sure how it ended up there but uh we found it when we were Bagging up all the groceries. So I threw it back in, brought it home, because what else am I going to do with my dinner plate? It's not really a dinner plate. It's like one of the tiny little tea plates. Uh, yeah. Anybody else ever find random stuff that gets shoved in your reusable Aldi bags? Because I don't know how it ended up in there, but it sure did. Okay, here's our last bag of groceries. This is the Aldi brand of Capri Sun. So Levi has been loving these. We'll see. Um, he hasn't had the Aldi brand. He's had the name brand. So we'll see how he likes these ones. A um, couple boxes of mac and cheese jar of pickles. I've been wanting pickles. I've had a hankering. So got some pickles to snack on. This looked good. It's kicken, kicked up chicken. Um, I think it's McCormick makes a brand that's kicking chicken seasoning and it is really good. We really like it, but this is considerably cheaper. I think I paid like $2 for this versus their stuff I think is like 4 or $5. So 
hopefully it tastes the same. I imagine that it will. And then this one is just garlic and herb and it looked good too. So it was like $2 for the spices. Um, three more things of button mushrooms, which really good to add to any kind of sauces or if we happen to do steak up or, which is too expensive right now, but or chicken, we'll put it on top of chicken. Um, yogurt bites for the baby, some barbecue sauce, some barbecue sauce. Uh, this is a lot like Sweet Baby Ray's, but it's a lot cheaper. I think it's like 89 cents or 98 cents, something like that. Some Cheez-Its, some honey mustard, and another thing of Parmesan. Those are nasty. Don't buy them. They are supposed to be like La Croix, but they are the Walmart brand. Nasty. I've never had regular La Croix, and I thought I was buying something else. That's, that's gross. Don't buy it. I recently seen someone on Facebook describe La Croix as being like a seltzer water and somebody screamed the name of the fruit from the next room over. I mean, that seems like a very accurate statement compared to at least to that clear water strawberry stuff. It's, I, we won't drink it. It's gross. I bought a peach one too. Bought the wrong thing, guys. I thought I was buying something else. Don't buy that. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's everything for my grocery haul. I really feel like I should have gotten a lot more stuff for the amount of money that we spent. Groceries are just getting insanely priced. Um, as you can tell, we didn't really get any large meat type items. Uh, hamburger, too expensive. I'm not touching it at that price. We don't really eat a whole lot of pork. And we have a large bag of frozen chicken breasts already on hand. So I didn't buy any really any meat. We got lunch meat and we got, you know, smoked sausage and that's I think all the meats that we bought this time. Um, so yeah, that's everything for this video. I hope you guys really did enjoy. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up so other folks can find it. Subscribe if you're not already. I would love to have you here. As I mentioned earlier, I do a lot of vlogger type content. And that's going to be everything for me today. And I hope to catch you guys in my next video.